what's going on. The double mox pack. Wow. That is, that is just gorgeous. Good gravy. Well, I think we definitely take Mox Jet. It's definitely the cooler of the Moxes. Mox Pearl might table. Let's see, we got Underground Sea, Atraxa, Borrower, Torsten. That's four. Uh, nah, it's probably going to get taken, I guess. All right, we're taking Mox Jet. Getting past a Treachery. Shallow Grave. Blighty Boy. Gix and Virtue. Gix is like 30 bucks now. I bought my last Gix for like $6. I don't know what happened to Gix. I imagine he's like in probably like a a standard deck or something. Swords to Plowshare is also fan fantastic. I kind of like Treachery here, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to need you to draft some Eugenes today. <laughs> That's every day. You're being ridiculous. I'm going to take Treachery. I'm a sucker for a treachery, man. I'd be a sucker for a bribery, too, if that was an option. Oh, Stuart with the resub. Appreciate you. Ten months. Oh, is it Dak Faden? I feel like I, I draft Grixis in, uh, a, a lot. Let's just say a lot. Could also take Mana Leak, but I think Dak Faden is just better. Especially if we're... Trying to reanimate. It's a good discard outlet. I'm going to take the Dak Faden. I'm sure we can open a Mox Ruby in the next pack. You know, that's kind of like... A, like a fixing, you know? Oh, yeah. Definitely drafting all the Wastelands and all the Strip Mines today. <laughs> Alan, you know me so well. Yeah, good old Darkwing Dak. When there's trouble, you can call DF... Short for Dak Faden. In case you guys didn't know. Oh, we're getting dangerous. And now... We just have to wait for this fourth pick. Someone's someone's taking a good amount of time. Hmm. Well, it's not great. Gaius Cradle's good. Path to Exile is good. Those are probably the two best cards. Ashen Rider is a card we can take if we want to reanimate. Do we want to reanimate? Could just take Ledger Shredder. I think Ledger Shredder is just a fine, a fine guy. Oh, there's an Emrakel. That's an exciting card. Does it do anything, though? Uh... This is rough, man. I'm not going to take the white card when we have a black Mox and a red-blue card. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Let me pick this fourth color card just because it's an answer. I like drafting answers, but they kind of, I kind of want them to be in the colors that I'm in. We'll take an Emrakul. I don't know what we're going to do with an Emrakul, but it's the best card in that pack by a large margin. See, and like, so last pick was Spara's Headquarters, which had one color that we're in. Now we see Jetmir's Garden, which has one color that we're in. We also just passed a Gaia's Cradle and a Raphelos. <sighs> Boy. <sighs> I mean, I kind of like Reprieve here. Maybe again, maybe we do Esper where it's like, we just cut Dak. I don't know. Like, 
Could take Vampire Hex Mage if the Thespian stage comes back. Let's do that, I guess. We'll just spec on that. Oh, I do like a Palantir. I'll definitely take Palantir. The only thing we're really missing is Bone Crusher, but I think Palantir is better than Bone Crusher. Two good lands that are both green. Fantastic. Really good green card, really good green card. Two good white cards. We're definitely in the right colors. Oh, crying out loud. Maybe we're getting Primeval Titan. Maybe we're Sultai. You know? Uh, Nature's Claim. We can cut Dak, be Sultai. Thought Scour is... It doesn't do anything. It's like Null Rod. It does nothing. I'm going to take Massacre Girls. We're probably more likely to be black than green. None of these cards are exciting. I'll take Augur. I don't know what direction we're going in. I don't think Thespian Stage came back, so that's a bummer. All right, well, eh, Nurturing Peatland, sure. Two fixing lands to, to work with the Sultai is not terrible. We can also get a channel now in Emrakul. Somebody do got to nurture Pete, you know? Give him a give him a little nurture. Oh wow, last pick Rex Sage is fantastic in the green deck that we're that we're slowly building here. All right, well Hex Mage is out, so now we're basically <laughs> blue green with two blue cards. Fantastic. This pack really went in the the exact direction we were expecting it to go. Just kidding. What do we got here? We got an Animate Dead, which I do like. Eternal Witness. I like Flesh Gorger. This pack is also pretty bad. I feel like it's just Animate Dead here. Also, neither the Simic Growth Chamber nor the Overgrown Tomb came back, which kind of sucks. So, I don't know if they would have. I'm not sure if they... If there was enough cards in that pack. Anyway, we're just taking Animate Dead. I don't think Basalt really does anything for us. I'd rather have Animate Dead because I think it's just a more powerful card. Like, if we're playing, like, a colorless deck where we're ramping to seven drops that are colorless, I think that's fine, but... Oh, what up, Nicholas? Hat Mike? It, it for sure is a pile. I do like a good fleshy G, you know? I do like a Tropical Island, and it's probably the best card in this pack, so I will take a Tropical Island. This pack is pretty bad. If Blood Chief's Thirst or Dark Slick Shores comes back, that'll be fine. If Voidwalker comes back, that's good. Yeah. All right. We've definitely hit the, um, the peak mid-range deck. These packs are, are pretty rough. I guess I just opened it. I guess I just started a doo-doo draft today. Is it possible to get cut in all five colors? Yes, by the by the by the client itself, I think. Okay, we got a Baleful Strix, a Malcolm, 
Arona. I almost like Malcolm a little better than Strix here. I mean, they all have their pros and cons, right? Like, Malcolm has to connect in order to loot. Rona does not. Rona's a better blocker. Malcolm's a better attacker. It also has Flash. Malcolm and Baleful Strix both do really well if we get Fallen Shinobi because they can evade past. I do think I like the evasive portion, so I am leaning towards Baleful or Malcolm. Malcolm's easier to cast. Death Touch is pretty good. I, I, I think Baleful Strix is just too good. Oh, Noble Hierarch. Wooded Foothills gets Tropical Island so far. Terra Sunder is good. Actually, I like Terra Sunder quite a bit. Hmm. I think I just want to go with Wooded Foothills here. I'm worried about our mana base. Terra Sundering Titan, he says. Oh, I don't hate Dryad here. Sort of the me, Collector Brutality, Questing Druid. Yeah, I think it's just Dryad here. Being able to play an extra land is nice. Also, fixing all our colors is nice. Green Sun Zenith is pretty good. I can't tell. I don't think there's any... There shouldn't be any chat delay, really. I also like a good portmanteau. The chat window on my phone is frozen. That, that seems like a lie, because you were able to send that message. You can't fool me. Ren and Six is pretty interesting. We got a Wooded Foothills. I think we're just taking the Fairy Mastermind, though, because that's in our colors. Has your internet gotten worse in the last month? Asking the good questions. Tamio, Cryptic Command, Shorokai, Genesis Engine. <laughs> <laughs> we could take this wasteland for a little Allen. Uh, I kind of like Tamio here. Oh, please, bro. <laughs> oh, man. Allen, you definitely know better than that. I wonder if there was an argument to be made for Currency Converter with this deck. I don't think so. Oh, I like this Nissa. There's also Thopter Foundry, and Sword of the Meek is going around. I think I'm taking Thopter Foundry and hedging on the, the Sword of the Meek coming back. Because I don't see why anyone would take Sword of the Meek. By itself.
Come on, Sword of the Meek. I'm going to take this Gorgie. I was kind of hoping this guy came back. I just really like Flesh Gorger. Hang on, let me try it at 320. That's a good idea. That's where you're going to get the most value. That's the best quality to speed ratio. I'm just going to be the land destruction annoying commenter at some. You're already there. You already made it. Dark Slick Shores and Blood Chief's Thirst. I think I want the Shores here. For obvious reasons. I don't like having two fast lands, but I, I do like having fixing, so. And we did pass Underground Sea in the first pack, I believe. It was in the same pack as our double moxes. So the only option is Bayou. Oh my god, is it really not going to come back? Sure you do. How do you time out mods? Is that a thing you can do? Oh my god, it's really not coming back. That's hilarious. Someone just took Sword of the Meek? All right. Well. So be it, I guess. <laughs> what mod do you want to time out? Don't worry about it. Well, Green Sun Zenith came back, which I, I did kind of like. One sixty. I don't even think that's an option. Okie dokie. So should have taken the Nissa, I guess. I actually can't read the chat at this resolution. I don't think you're meant to. Oh, Mox Ruby. Didn't I say we were gonna open a Mox Ruby? That's kind of hilarious. Wow. Well, okay, well, sure. I'm just taking the Mox Ruby. If Library or Bitter Triumph or Time Warp comes back, we'll definitely take one of those. But I'm not going to pass Secundo Moxo. Is that what the kids call it? Oracle of Moldiah seems decent. Rot Farm is good. Scalding Tarn just gets Tropical Island. No one calls it that. Is that true? Oh, dang. Fast Bond, what do you do? Nothing yet, right? What if we take fast spawn and then upheaval tables? That would be kind of cool. I actually was thinking of Badlands, but yeah, what did Foothills get? Gets Badlands, and we also have Mox Ruby. I actually think Badlands is pretty decent. Plus, it also gives us access to Molten Collapse, which is pretty good. Oh, I love a Grief. Okay, I guess we're just... Oh, there's also Demonic Tutor. Yeah, let's take Demonic Tutor. It's right next to the Grief. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right. Well, we have a bunch of bangers here. I'll definitely play a Dak Fade, and I'll kind of keep my fingers crossed for another on-color fetch land. I agree. Case Doomsday Wheels. Oh, the Bayou. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty good. There's a, there's a Eugene. Is that guy any good? Do we have a Eugene deck? Huh. There is a Bayou, which we can get with Wooded Foothills, which I do think is important. <laughs> you really have... <laughs> And 
This is a load bearing wooded foothills for sure. It gets our trop. I mean, now it gets now it gets all the colors. I guess it did before because Badlands, but now it gets all our colors. Now it really gets all our colors. You know the funny thing? E Eugene's just gonna come right back, so it'll be fine. Don't even worry about it, you know. Seeker's chariot is kind of a thing. I'm actually quite surprised the Seeker's chariot is only one green. It definitely feels like a double green card. I worry all the time about you. I don't think you should. I think he's totally fine. I think he's doing real good, you know. Um, I'm gonna take the chariot. I think we need some more decent threats. Well, we only have one worm right now, right? We only have Flesh Scourger. What else is in there? Worm Coil Engine? Wait, some kind of worm man? I like Fatal Push. I think it's Fatal Push here. Fatal Push is real good. And I don't think we have the, the forests to support a, a Nissa just yet. I agree. Scape Shift does feel like a trap. There's a crater hoof. That's a big, that's a big, beautiful baby boy. Um, are we going to have enough blue to be dazing? Probably not. Shark Typhoon, actually. Yeah, that, that actually works quite well here, I think. I do not think we are a hoof deck. Fire, ice, Chandra. Okay, so none of the cards we wanted came back. That's kind of unfortunate. I guess we just take fire, ice. I do like an Omnath, and we can get him with green sun, but we have no sources of white whatsoever. So I'm not gonna even, not gonna even humor an Omnath here. Walking ballista is fine. I think the fire ice is probably just a little bit better. Oh, Rod Farm? Rod Farm kind of okay, especially with uh, Oracle of Maldaya. And Dryad. Two cards that let us play more than one land per turn is nice. More like Fire and Nice, because it's a nice little treat for us to put in our deck. <laughs> yes. More like fire and nice little treat, am I right? You know, just go the whole distance. Well, now we get a scavenging ooze. You, got, you can go on the little sideboard. I mean, worst case scenario, we either play Molten Collapse or Elvenwald Oddity in here. We also have this Emrakul that we never got anything for, so that's sad. Sylvan Safekeeper, don't care, don't care, don't care. None of these are any good. You know, I bet I bet Ugin's new owners do give him scritches. <laughs> scritches. <laughs> uh.
Oh, Boseju coming back is nice. All right, well, this is 22, so it looks like we're just playing either one of these guys. Could also play Shadow Spear, but I don't think that's very good. Oh, Escape Shift. Fantastic. Well, maybe our last pick will be playable. We also have Sakura Tri Builder, so we can add one mountain. Horizon Canopy. All right. Well, this looks like the deck. Unfortunately, not much to go get that's exciting with Primeval Titan. This deck did not come together as, as we would have liked. After our first pick, Mox. Second pick, Treachery. Third pick, uh, was it Dak Faden? Yeah, that. No bueno. Not a single bueno was had. I guess we do have two mocks. That's true. Thank you. Oh, the Grizzly Bean. Thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Also, the sword didn't come back, which is super weird. Okay, well, we really ended up in the Sultai here. I could even see cutting, like, fire in order to play... Because I don't want to play 15 lands when we have cards like... Dryad and Oracle. I want to be able to maximize lands. So I could see playing... 16 lands and 2 mocks. I think that's that feels better. Okay, what do we got here? One mountain is, feels correct. Uh, blue sources, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, huh? All right, we'll see what, how that goes. Black, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we can definitely cut one of those for one of those. Green, we have one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, this is nine, nine, seven. Yeah, that feels good. All right. Okie dokie. What do we got here? One land. And that's it. Great. And we have 18 mana sources. Don't like that. You know what? Sure. It'll do. It'll do. We'll ship Massacre Girl. My buddy Chris is pretty flabbergasted to see you comment on my strongman video on Facebook. You spent the morning gushing on how you still love reading your articles and watching your vids. That's hilarious. Oh, man. 
Mox Ruby would be a good draw next turn. Well, I guess some people draw their moxes. Not I, though. Not this guy. I'm going to just play the Besaidu, because if I do hit another green, I'd like to play Augur of Autumn. Well, for one, I'll go on record and say Omnidor Thragfire is the worst name for a deck that has ever existed. And... I'm sorry, Travis Wu, but it's just terrible. What is this? They're going to just shoot my bird afterwards? Yeah, like I'm blocking because they're just threatening Fallen Shinobi here. So I'd rather not have that happen. Sure. Dead Guy Ale was not a great name, but it comes from a, t a time in Magic that I have a lot more nostalgia for. Now they're just going to go attack again with Psy. Oh, they keep playing their lands first, so that kind of makes me think they don't have. They didn't attack this time, even though they have Firebolt mana. Are they just keeping Mystic Confluence up? Interesting. I mean, I'm almost tempted to Green Sun for, like, Sakura Tribelder, just to see if I can try to hit, like, a land on top, which is, like, two lands. We can also just hit Rex Sage and kill their Mox, but they just passed with five mana up, so, you know. Interesting. Okay. All right. Well, nothing on top there. Let's go get let's go get our single mountain. Wow, three three hits, no lands. Okay. <laughs> I guess that's that. I gotta love your content, so I think that means we're probably not gonna make it. Oh, beautiful. I'm in. I'm in to win. That doesn't make any sense. Why would you say that? Um, I kind of just want to slam this guy. And hope it resolves. I don't think it will. They only have three cards. It, it resolved? Oh, boy. That's exciting. Against Grixis, I kind of feel like Shark Typhoon is good. Hmm. Found a Mox. Can I cast that? No? All right. This is just whenever you cast it too, right? So it doesn't actually care about. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to play Dak Faden here. Make a 3-3. Three, three. And then we're going to... Maybe we just steal their mocks. Yeah, let's do that. They're going to tap it in response. Oh, they didn't tap it in response. And then we're going to do one of these jobbies. Lay a little tomato. 
And we're going to choose a non-land card name. We'll choose Moxjet. I wonder if I hit. Oh, we hit. Great. Then we'll play this guy as a land. Return the Boseju. Because that's just a spell. Cast this Moxjet. We get a 0-0. Zero, zero. And we also have Fatal Push Mana up now. That felt like a uh, productive turn. Okay, we just win that game? Got it. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> I was really expecting the Fallen Shinobi when they had four mana up and they attack with Psy. I mean, it was either Fallen Shinobi or they kill our guy. I thought it was worth more for them to kill Ledger Shredder. Uh, I have not played the Arena Cube, and I have no plans to, as long as the Vintage Cube is up. Does the, does the Arena Cube have alchemy cards in it? If it does, that's that's a that's an immediate turn off. Let's keep this guy. Does it really? Or no? I mean, it, if it does, it's kind of poop. So we're going to get a green source of this, which is either going to be Tropical or Bayou. I think we're just going to start with good old-fashioned island. Yeah, the shuffle power nine into your deck is fun because you want to play with power nine, which is why I just play the vintage cube because that's where they that's where you can just draft it naturally. Oh, all right, that's nice. That makes my choice a little easier here. Like, I think it's fine, but it's just not magic to me. I don't know, like. Well then. Well, I have an animate dead. So that's pretty good. <laughs> wow, this is a this is a fucking this is a situation. Holy shit. Which means haste, exile at the beginning of the next end step. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Well, they don't get another, another set, but now we also can't animate it, so that's unfortunate. We could just... If we destroy it, then they're just going to literally have a bunch of dudes. I guess we're going to five. No, don't like that. Wow, Shallow Grave was such a good hit there. Okie dokie. Yep. That, that'll do, pig. That'll do. Didn't see anything of that nature. So let's bring in scavenging news, I guess. Take out Masker Girl. I don't feel like that's going to actually be very good here. Yeah, I was thinking Ice because it beats Triplicate Titan, but if they don't have Triplicate Titan, it's something else. It's not as good. Uh, we'll keep this hand. Still no mocks, and we have two of them.
I guess we're going to play Tri Builder here and search for a blue source. Okay, just the good old fashioned Rona. We can demonic tutor for a mox. All right. If we hit another land here, eh, that's actually just fine because now we can play a Seeker's Chariot and then we can just bounce this with Rot Farm, which is one of the low-key cool, uh, cool tricks with the bounce lands. Yeah, take a look at my card. So, we're missing one black in order to, to play both of these. What are we getting here, though? Tutor for Ugin. I'm still concerned about his whereabouts. Interesting. I, I kind of assumed they would have... I kind of assume they would have flashed here. They have six cards. Oh boy. I like Dak Faden. I like Animate Dead in case they do try some shenanigans. Which I have a feeling they might. I'm going to take the animate dead here. And then we're going to crew. And we might just throw this away. But if they do it this turn, animate dead is quite strong. Yeah, okay. Yep, this is what we are hoping for. This is good. And we get to eat one of their best ones. They're going to block with the Vigilance and the Trample. Smart. <laughs> yeah, I'll kill Vigilance. Yep. That's exactly what we assumed they would be doing. Get Boseju back. Discarding Overgrown Tomb is nice, but it tells me you definitely have land in hand. Oh, I like that. That's a good sign. 
Shallow Grave is kind of dead. And if they kill this, we just get three guys. You just killed a cat with a firebolt. That's totally fine. I'm just going to run this guy out there. I would like more lands. Let's get a nurturing PD boy. Dark Slick. Sure. Still digging. Snapcaster, Flash. Oh, just Night's Whisper. That is aggressive. That feels good for us. Hoisted by their own petard. Because we can actually just kill their flyer and then kill them. Assuming they don't have a one mana answer for Triple Good Titan. Bone Shards, the Primeval Titan. They're just dead now, right? Get him with the petard. They could snuff out? They could snuff out. Oh, do they have snuff out? Do they not have snuff out? Do they have death? They have death. Okay. Man, those are some aggressive Night's Whispers. Snout. Okay, round two. Oh, here we go. Here we go now. Turn two Dryad into like Rot Farm Replay Land is pretty good. Oh, a little candy, a little candy, candy lobby. So I'm gonna go this guy and this guy and then kill that guy. We don't need you doing any, any kind of academy shenanigans. We don't need you to be untapping your, your Talarian academies. Man, I should have got that one. Uh, 
One, two, three, four, five. We have six mana. It's a good amount. All our lands tap for any color now. God, we're so blessed. If we hit another land from somewhere, we can just play Flesh Gorger. It's pretty good. Hashtag fleshed. <laughs> See, that's fun. That's funny. You're a funny guy. What is this, worm coil engine? Jesus. What is this? What are you doing? Stop it. Get some help. Huh. That is less threatening than a worm coil engine, let me just say. Oh, a little chariot. So, we only have six total. If there's a land on top, we can play both of these. And if there's not, we can't. But we can still just play this guy. Yeah, I guess that's fine. No, this has to be a green, right? So we'll say this. Boom. Ba-boom. All right, we're living the dream, and then we have, like, lots of good things afterwards. Good old Don Haggis playing his planes. Oh, now he's going to Wrath of God with both Talisman and planes. That seems good. Well, we can play Flesh Gorger and then crew the chariot if we want. Could also just play Baleful Strix. I'm assuming how we're recovering from the worst. You ever open a new tab and then you forget what you were opening it for? Thank what was you. I opening this new tab for? Bill Brown, what up, my dude? Thank you for the gifted subs, man. Oh, long time no see, buddy. I haven't picked up any cards Thank from you in a while. <laughs> man, I appreciate you, my dude. What are your top three board games? That's a good question. I think Lords of Waterdeep Thank is up you. there. This was Katie's favorite board game. And we played it a ton. And then I really liked it. And I still do. I think it's one of my favorite board games. Thank you. Um, I have a good time every time we play Abyss. Thank you. Hmm. Thank I was going to play that guy. Okay. Bill Brown, buddy. I appreciate you, my dude. Ooh -ee. What do we got? Two, three, and two? Thank you. This guy's fat, though. I don't know how to deal with this guy. Huh. Thank you. I have yet to... We, have, we haven't played HeroQuest. Honestly, Kurt, since you've got us HeroQuest, we haven't actually... I don't think we've played board games. Thank um... You. Thank you. So we could play prime time off the top. <laughs> Not bored enough. Bazing. Like, what does drawing this do? Not much. Two, three, four. Uh. Wait, no, that doesn't work. Dragon said you could cut you have coven if you crew. No, that's not true. This is a four and this is a two. I need three different powers. I mean I have to play this first. God, 
God, the lifelink on this guy is a real pain in the ass. Don't counter my gorger. Oh, they didn't counter my gorger. All right. We're just going to pass here, I guess. I mean, technically, we could have played Strix, hoped for a land on top, played our sixth land, then played Prime Time. Oh my God, they're doing more artifact things. If they if they play if they play Sundering Titan, we're probably just dead. That's not a Sundering Titan. Gorgium and Borgium. That's what I always say. <laughs> if you're not Gorgian and Borgian, you ain't living. All right, well, they get my Baleful Strix, I guess. Unfortunate. Oh, that's, that's interesting. We don't get to cast it, but sure is fun to look at, you know? I'm going to attack because they have to block with both Grief and Flesh Gorger if they want to block. Oh, wow. They did. Uh, yeah, that's a great trade for us. Yeah, we can go one, two, three, four, five, six. Play this fine gentleman. Let's go get Peatland because it draws us a card. Probably not Boseju. That's just a fine. Wooded Foothills. Ledger Shredder on top, which does not do anything. If we had one more land, we could play it, which would be cool. I am extremely excited for MTG Fallout. If any of you guys want to gift me MTG Fallout stuff, I would absolutely love you forever. <laughs> Reign of Filth. Oh, are they gonna f they're gonna mess us up, aren't they? They only have two cards in their hand. Fingers crossed. Six, I mean, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, thirty. We have sixteen damage on board. It's a lot. I wish there was a land that could destroy Misha's factory. A land? Do you mean workshop? You mean Misha's workshop? Oh, you're making a wasteland joke. I see. Oh, what up, cat? Yeah, I was simping for wasteland. If wasteland had an OnlyFans... I'd be terrified of how much Alan would spend on it. My favorite pizza toppings are cheese. But I will also accept any amount of veggies except for mushrooms and tomatoes. And yeah, I was going to say pineapple, but that's a fruit. Like, I'm a big black olive fan. I like sun-dried tomatoes. I like onions and I like peppers. And if there's like either like a cherry pepper... Or a roasted pepper option. 100% going for that. Oh, hello, my dear. 
Is cheese a topping? <laughs> yeah, no, I, it's a good question. It's kind of like saying, what, what, do you, what kind of burger do you like? And I'm just like, regular burger. I don't know what this is doing. They have to have like, the last card has to be like tendrils. Because they have nothing that draws them anything from the graveyard. So I don't know what's going on. Unless they're just trying to recast like Flesh Gorger and Grief. Which is just fine. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Babe, remind me tonight before you go to bed and I will literally work on it. I will literally make you an emote tonight if you just remind me. The problem is that it's the... Um, it's the workflow. Where like as soon as I get done streaming... We hang out and there's no time for me to like jump into emote creation. So by the time I would get to a point where I'm creating an emote, it's too late, you know? Okay, so I think they're just casting their... This gains them 11, which puts them at 44, which means they can't either flux reservoir us, which should be good. Cherry peppers do slap. Honestly, Pizza Hut had a Peruvian cherry pepper that they used to put on their pizzas, and then they discontinued it. And you know what? That sucks. They suck. Pizza Hut, you suck. You heard me. Bring back the cherry peppers, you cowards. Oh. Okay. That's good. Okay, so they're out of man. I guess they could sack lands, right? There's a lot of things going on in this game. I do not think it's the same pepper. Okay, so they're going to 44 life. They only have two lands, though, so they're going to be able to add two mana, not grief mana. So they, they can't either flux reservoir us. Which is probably for the best. But this guy has lifelink. Oh, God. That actually puts us in a really bad position, unfortunately. So if they just attack with this guy, we take 50. So that's cool. So we're going to have to do one of these jobbies. Trigger on the stack. I want to... Draw a card. So that we don't. We're doing well here. Here we go now. I don't know how to stop them from either flux reservoiring us, so I think we're dead. Which is kind of amazing. Like, they just attack with this guy. Do we have enough damage to overwhelm that? They block here. They block, like, one guy. They take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But then they gain seven, so they actually take one. <laughs> this guy doesn't die. Our creatures are just too small. Man, where's that Besage you when you need it? I don't think...
don't think there's any way around this. Yeah, I guess we just have to be like Palantir, see if that works, right? Like that's the that's the that's the only the only possibility. Dark slick and trop. There's a fatal push on the tippity top. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, they're just, oh, they just immediately get it and they kill us. <laughs> yeah, okay, great. <laughs> Why did I do that? Oh, I thought they would have taken, oh, they would have taken like one, right? So they go to 43, but then they gain seven. Wow, that's wild, man. Let's bring in Scavengers again because they have Yogmoth's Will. Treachery seems pretty good, actually. I actually want to screenshot this because I was like wondering what to get with Demonic Tutor last time. And I'm also going to be wondering what to get with Green Sun Zenith. We'll probably take out Massacre Girl here. Boiling for two hours? Who's got that kind of time, man? All right, well. Man, I felt like that game was going really well for us too. Unlike these games. Let's get rid of this mountain. We can easily get tropical with this guy. Let's get tropical with it. We have kittens versus someone called the Apocalypse. <laughs> Fantastic. I don't think it's going well here. I like that Bill popped in, donated 10 subs, and then didn't say a word. That's hilarious. Uh, no. No. Sure, it's fine. Fine. We have double black, we have double blue. I guess we just get a forest here for double green. Wait, what? We could have won last game, didn't need to scoop. Push shield red. An artifact cost them 50 life. What is that? How does that how does that win them the game? How does Oh wait, artifact, they have to actually have. Oh, you're right, actually. That's true. They actually have to spend the 50 life. Actually, that makes me really disappointed now. Wow. Good point. I will them draw no draws for you. Here we go now. So we're going to go like this. 
Play this guy. Oh, actually, shit, that's not the right one. Now I'm tilted because of that. That's really sad. Yeah, that's good. That's a good card. Now I'm just going to let you draw. No, it's totally fine. I'd rather know than not know. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. I thought, like, for some reason I didn't think you paid the life, but that doesn't make any sense. Like, you you have to pay 50s, and they were at 50. So they die if they do it. So they'd have to find another way to gain life. And with push on top... Oh, man. That sure is disappointing. Wow, Balance, Memory Jar, Reign of Filth, and Tendrils. Do they just kill us next turn? We're at nine? God. They don't have white for balance. They could go Reign of Filth. Leaves them with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. They play Memory Jar. They play Tendrils for six. Shielded's still on board. Yeah, I think we're just dead here. This was just... I, I feel like I, I punted that first game now that I look at, now that I look at it. Man, now I'm going to go back and review the tape and feel really stupid. But I'm glad I know. Like, right? Like, I learned something now that I didn't know before. Like, I didn't even think about the, the either Flux Reservoir costing them life. And I presume because they were at 50, they would have wanted to give us the card. But maybe not. Maybe they, they could have also said, hey, we're at 50. We need to get... They, they would have been guaranteeing... They would have been betting on gaining life from Shieldred and then killing us, though. So they would have wanted that two life. Yeah, they could also just play Memory Jar and crack it. Uh, that also kills us. So I guess we'll take Jar and we'll just see what happens. I kind of like Palantir here, but I really don't want to give them more cards. Like, now they can just go Rain Tendrils. Do I want to draw more cards when they have Shouldered out? Probably not. But then they can just go get a white source for balance. And then we lose two lands and a creature. And then they can just attack us and kill our other creature. Yeah, this is not a great situation. God, the old shoulder is shockingly brutal, even like something like the Vintage Cube. That's wild to me, man. Oh, this old chestnut again, eh? Did you just draw? What did you draw? We know you have balance and tendrils. I guess they're just, I guess they're just tendrilsing for three. Which puts us to, which puts us to three. And then they attack with shoulder. We can't do anything. And then we draw a card. And it puts us to one. Yep. This is wild. Yeah, 
we're just going to the next game. Next next match. That was that was pretty brutal. Oof. All right, round three with double Mox. First turn Flesh Gorger, second turn Chariot. Like it. Fingers crossed that gets the job done. This guy. This guy. This guy. This guy. <laughs> and it's your turn, my friend. You got it. So I'm pretty sure they're going to be able to draw a card here, which is obnoxious. But. Because a Seeker's Chariot just happens to not be a creature. So, you know. Foothills gets us Tropical Island, yes. Oh, we just win the game. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. Apparently, moxes are good. So, you know, keep it in mind. I'll just submit like this. I didn't see enough to really determine whether... Uh... Oh, then we get no moxes, you know? The main board. Oh, God. Oh, God. You people. If we can top deck a mox, that'd be sick, because then we can go Tribelder turn one, deck Faden turn two. Who doesn't like that, you know? Oh, look at that guy. Look a little grimothy. That ain't a mox. I might just push him, though. Give him a little push. Just give him a little push down. What do you mean, you people? <laughs> yeah, it's a... Quality reference. Are they getting in there with this? Sounds good. Oh, well, look who it is. Uh, whoa! <laughs> okay, well, that is something. Can't really complain, I guess. Ballista for two. Well, I'm definitely pushing one of these. I think it's Ballista. It's just a better creature. I mean, I feel like our use of Mox was better. Come on, Mox one time, and then I'll steal your Mox, and then we'll be great. They also have two cards in hand now. If they attack, I might just block. And not get land.
Oh, that guy's real good. I mean, thankfully, you only have walking ballista in the graveyard. See, now we're going to block and also... Uh... Yeah, get that guy back. Okay, okay. Oh, it's got flying. I can't block. That's not how magic works. I always forget that it gives the basic ability to. For some reason, I just think it gives like the block of text that's not their most basic ability. Hmm. Well, this doesn't do much because they just get it back. But you still have to attack first. Sure. I hope they play a three toughness creature because that lets Massacre Girl really do the, do the deed. Kills one, kills two. Triggers again, kills three. And then Scale Lord lives. Interesting. So we're just taking five here? Sure. This is not too bad. Baleful Strix. Black, we need another blue source. I don't think we have one. That's unfortunate. Is there a problem with Swamp? If we go like this, a blue source... Yeah, we'd have to actually play it. So we're just going to do this. Play Baleful Strix. Hit a Dryad, which is not the same at all. And that's kind of rough. Actually, no, that's not too bad. Oh, no. Yeah, that's that's decent. Play other land. Yeah, all right. We have good blockers. If they don't have anything in hand, we're actually pretty okay here. Hopefully they play Batter Skull. That would be nice. Don't care about that. 
All right, that's fine. <sighs> Taking their time here. Uh, no, the germ doesn't die. It just stays attached. Wait, right? I don't know how that works, actually. Yes, the germ would die. You would steal the equipment, their germ would remain, and then it would just die, I think. Mass girl can, massacre Girl can, in fact, wipe the board here. Is that what we want, though? Feels decent, especially to get Guardian, Scale Lord, and Lava Mancer off the board. Plus, then we have Animate Dead to get back Guardian Scalar. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, if you swing with Strix first, I worry. I I don't know. I guess they just take one or they block with Scale Lord, and, and then we don't actually get to kill everything because Massacre Girl would, wouldn't be able to kill anything else. That's the problem. So Massacre Girl would come in, give everything negative one, negative one, and that would only kill... That wouldn't kill anything because the smallest creature is a 2-2. Two, two. Oh, no, let's not use the red. Let's not use the blue either. Uh, let's just use this. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Give Papa back his good stuff. Uh, we're just going to get Dryad here because in the future we can get Baleful Strix with Guardian Scale Lord. I feel like we just turn this around a little bit. One, two, three, four, five. We can also DAC Faden. We can just DAC and keep up Fairy Mastermind. That seems fine. One, two, three. Now we need a blue from this guy. Blue, DACums. Steal this guy. They Again, they didn't tap it, which is great for us. Which means we don't actually have to play Bayou. And now we have a better card to discard with Dak. Yeah, we've also restricted their mana quite a bit. They have four lands, so I'm pretty sure there's nothing they can play that would really blow us out. Like, we only have one more land than they do and one, no more cards than they do. So it's not like, like, even balance isn't terrible. I mean, Wrath seems fine when we have a, a deck and a Fairy Mastermind at hand. Like, Wrath is a two for three. And that will do it. 2-1. Not bad. Not bad. And I think we I think we punted. We definitely punted that second that second round. So thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Be sure to follow on Twitch, on YouTube, anywhere you can find content. Be sure to follow. It's a great, it's the bare minimum you can do. Costs nothing. It's a great way to support the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.